Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the tricks which will help you to be efficient and active while displaying your songs in your lyrics in a very quick way without taking a lot of your time. Now, one of the most important things which I request you to do, first of all, is creating a playlist for the songs which they are going to sing on Sunday so that you may not delay about anything. Here is where your playlist appears and you can select a song from here and then you add it to the playlist so that on Sunday you don't have to come to pass through this song database here. You just go directly to your playlist and you click on that particular song which they are singing and you display it automatically. So let's first go through those steps. Uh, it is so simple as this. First of all, let me first remove these songs which I used on Sunday. I say you click it, delete and the songs will be deleted from your playlist. So what you need to do is search for the songs which they are going to sing on Sunday. For example, I can search for Amazing which is already here. I click on it and after clicking on it, you come to this bar here. It says add to playlist after clicking on it you'll be adding to the playlist that particular song and many other songs you can add any other song to the playlist by clicking on that button and it will be added here on sunday you will not be suffering looking for the song here and then displaying it that is the first trick the second trick is actually using this search button here in most cases they can sing a song which is not on your playlist you can just search for it here for example if my song or oceans is not on the playlist i can just come here directly and i search for oceans now in most cases most of the people suffer because of when they search here for a song uh, they do not find anything here now what you need to do is you should make sure that you are in the lyrics tab and you search for that particular song which you want to add the playlist after this this is the song and i'll add it to the playlist simple as that or you can just display it by clicking on this particular button here you remember this particular button allows you to display this song from the beginning from the title and this one allows you to display this particular uh slide which is selected as simple as that that will make your work at church more easier when you have created the playlist now the playlist also allows you to add the notes and also allows you to add some media you can see that the, I'm, I'm having some photos here now another trick which i want to show you is trying to create a theme so quickly now in most cases in creating things you come here and you say create and you start afresh from zero but in most cases what i what i do that the trick is I just come to the theme which I say that the fruit is appearing well. For example, this this theme, this particular theme here, you can see that the notes are appearing well and the background is also appearing well. The only thing I need to do is change the background. What I need to do is come into this one here and I right, right click on it. And right click after right clicking on it, I'll say clone. Instead of editing, I'll say clone. And after cloning it, it will come with those particular settings which are good for my display now the next thing i need to do is only changing the background by clicking on that virtual button there and i'll add something like this and after adding it you can see that nothing will change if you want to change also uh, the color of this you come here to effects and on on background color and on background color you click on this color here and then you can change it to that particular color which you want for example i can choose that and i change it to that as simple as that after that you give your uh theme or background theme a name for example i can give it the name jesus something like that and afterwards you say save now you can see that my background theme has been created without replacing this particular theme which was up here but i've used the, some of the settings which i normally use in my church display thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video i request you to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much for watching.